Oh yes, welcome back to Marvel Contest of Champions News. It's your Friday, thank God it's edition of the news. And for a lot of people that have been quiet about Pedro the Donkey, no he's not available for personal appearances and yes he may be starring in future films, but the fact is, it's no more. We're not going to talk about him anymore. Moving on. Pedro, what's up man? Pedro, you're on Marvel Contest Champions News. I said no. Our first story begins about Holes of Fortune and as well the general feedback when it comes to energy spend. Some people have even asked me about the extent of gold that you get back and Trucos has done some information here that just basically says how much you get. Just times it by four and you'll get what you'll get. And for Halls of Healing, it's just completely randomized what you get. You could get something good, you can get something average, but you are going to get either revives or health potions that are standard ones or as well they're going to be alliance ones. The general negative feedback largely comes from the extent of the energy spent as we said and for a lot of players are kind of going well it's a full day's worth of energy which could be spent on other things especially with the quest for the infinity stones being an event which now in order to 100 percent is going to take up a lot of your energy spend going through to the end of the month. A lot of that feedback being held in this forum post here. So the thread is still open currently. Link is in the description below if you want to have your say. But it feels like a lot of players are either going, that's not as much gold as we would expect, and also the energy spend. Personally, it's a bit difficult to kind of comment on this because I do feel that it's good to have these back, but obviously looking at it it would be nice to receive some more energy refills in order to kind of go like hey well here's some stuff to grind out about or do exactly what halls of healing does do as well and make it a very much lower spend i'm talking like one per tile type thing or just doing away with it but what are your thoughts on this leave them in the comment section below next up from some players will note that they haven't seen the marvel's notorious gamers get a position on the leaderboard as you know in the past that they've charted very highly in alliance wars and like well what's the deal with this why haven't they been seen right at the top and the reason has to be with a fault from kabam side of things where they've been offered buys instead of being offered alliance wars participation and before kind of going into a bit more i do like the way that kabam like even says like uh, there's been a lot of upsets as well as kind of good things about alliance wars yes there have been upsets and whether or not season 10 is going to be good for that one it's still yet to be seen the way this all kind of works is that there's been no great gain from their points being adjusted they're always going to remain on fourth place so it may confuse some people but the main thing to really kind of acknowledge is that kind of said it's a fault on their behalf the points are fine that have finished with so we're looking at this like i think it's a three million point kind of margin between what was expected and what is actually there Either way, this is this is good news. It's been resolved and looked into. But um, what are your thoughts? Is it a bit kind of sketchy or is it a bit kind of like, oh, that's fine. Next up, I'm kind of sticking with the story of Alliance Wars. How are you all feeling about the crystals that you're getting back from this? For a lot of people that get them, they get an extensive amount or a larger amount than others. For example, if you get two from finishing Alliance Wars rewards, you could get a chance of getting something good with those two crystals or maybe something average with those five crystals. So RNG is basically what I'm trying to say here. Will Kabam really need to address these rewards in the future? I think the answer is yes, because as you can see with this flurry of images here, you can see disappointment. So with two crystals, not too bad. Plenty of tier five basics and also with those tier 2 alpha and likewise that continues on but look at the five that are being opened here and people feel that that may be a case of going look i understand rng i get it but at the same time it's crushing especially if you're going if you're going in the very kind of top alliances you've worked hard yes you've got those guaranteed rewards those guaranteed tier 2 alpha that guaranteed tier 5 basic but these crystals can make that feel a little bit of a screw job especially considering what someone has got from three compared with what somebody's opening up with five so when it comes to the completion of alliance war season nine and thinking about what should be represented for season 10 and the reward scaling 
I'm sure that Kabam will end up looking into this and maybe go, do you know what? Let's do away with these crystals and maybe guarantee some kind of extended scaling. So that kind of crystal aspect is taken out of the equation. But generally, I know a lot of the player base want to see some real revamping of those rewards, make them a bit more beefier and tastier for the community when they have so much stress from this type of event. Which leads on to the confirmation that on June 19th, we will be seeing, seeing the return of Alliance War Seasons. It will be season 10 with a new map and the new buffs. So fingers crossed, it works well for the player base. But I know there have been a little bit of rumblings of criticism, so that will only really transpire once that has been made live for them players to then give their feedback to Kabam, whether or not they like it or don't. Next up, and I'm going to shout out a video. You should go and see it. Link is in the description. Katie Candy's video. Make sure to go and subscribe as well as like and watch right through to the end because it's a good one. This is something I've missed out in Marvel Contest Champions news with all those bugs that have come in that have been fixed and addressed. There's stuff that hasn't been actually announced on that particular changelog, but something that does affect you, the player, and that is the hitting into the block countered by special bug that has been around for a little while and has been causing a lot of annoyance. Now, it doesn't look like from this information that Kabam Lyra is doing the response does actually give that idea that this is going to be fixed in the long term and it's more extensive than you might think. Now, I don't like the way that some of the AI has changed over the years and it does feel at times that there's just this constant scuffness which doesn't ever feel like it's going to be addressed. One of the bugs that I don't like at the moment is going into a block stance, then the enemy is open like this. So you think, OK, in that moment, split second, I can hit out. And when you hit out at that person or that enemy that is non in a, not in a block stance, that they hit you before you can even move at them. So they kind of like guess your kind of movements. Or if you hit into in a special, say the enemy is like that, and then you have to change your strategy based on that particular circumstance. Either way, I really, really say go to the description, watch the video, but what are your thoughts on this bug not being addressed? Next up, and it's season two of A Summoner and His Champions. This is a fun little thing that was put together a while ago. Season one was put together by Hammond and everyone else that participated. It was a great little fun read and it is a case of like having that community banter and kind of laugh. And this is actually a great place to go. So go to the link in the description and check it out. I've been copied in a couple of times. I've been pinged for this and uh, I know I get a mention. So thank you very much to this thread. So yeah, give it a look and participate. It's a bit of fun. Next up, and I want to shout out another video done by another great Marvel Contest Champions YouTuber, and that is Frojo34. This video, like, it's, it's a great video, deep dives on aspects of what class Namor should be when he's put into the game, as there's a lot of different bits of information to take into consideration, and I feel that Frojo does a solid with looking at the deep dives of different champions, look at the comic book history, looks at other types of materials as well, and I think it's well worth you giving it a watch. The link is in the description below. Make sure to subscribe and like and, uh, and watch some other stuff done by Frojo as well. In other news, it looks like Kabam unfortunately have done a little bit of a goof again. If you remember the Cull Obsidian Crystals, when they were put in, for whatever reason, they were incorrectly put in as like the Electro Crystals, and anyone that immediately did the purchase or purchased a little bit after were then given back 10 of the color obsidian crystals so they got double the amount the same thing applies in this circumstance where for those that went for the incorrect crystal then got the extra crystals so for example there was a hawkeye and people were like well, what's going on with this as being the featured champ and in fact ebony moore was not in that crystal which looked a little bit something like this so it was kind of disappointing that this was the case and this has been the second featured champion in a row I hope this is now rectified going into the Invisible Woman as well as the Namor Crystals that will be coming next month. And our final story, kind of end on a positive bit of pace, is that we're going to do a quick meme review. So we've got here, Medusa owner, oh cute, Corvus owner, mm -hmm. then Cull Obsidian owner, <sighs> lag. I am inevitable. And I, problems connecting to the network. It has to be this. And finally, you'll never walk again, but you will fly. <laughs> Subvert your expectations. Oh yes, yes, the, the MODOK. The, Mo the Mo Game of Thrones, MODOK, Marvel Contest Champions. Oh, 
Oh, the memes are getting better. They went for a stage of being really crap, and I'll tell you what, they're really good. We'll pick up some more of this on MCC News Weekend, but let's li let's obviously leave you with this thought. Oh, no, 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 no. We've, got, we've got to end on this one here because it's Jean-Luc Picard, and I, I love that. I love Star Trek. Cull Obsidian is too OP. <laughs> I'm just like, can't wait for the silent nerve threats. <laughs> It's gonna happen, let's face it, it's gonna happen. So that has been your end of the month Marvel Contest of Champions news. Obviously it's the 31st, it's the last day of the month. So hopefully June is gonna be a better month rolling on in. But if you enjoyed today's news, hit the like button, subscribe for more Marvel Contest of Champions based content. Don't forget, tonight we're gonna to be doing a live stream. I may have a drink or two. Yes, to treat myself, why not? It's the end of the month. But also, do make sure to catch my other channel, Stormbreaker Gaming. The link is in the description below. We're going to be playing some PUBG and just kind of like chilling out. So if you want to join us a bit later on as well, make sure to subscribe with post notifications on. Thanks very much, and I shall catch you in the next one. Bye-bye for now.